Hello there, RFC friends. I just thought I would <coughs> do a little video <coughs> showing my latest acquisition. This is a UMS 55 cubic centimeters, five cylinder gasoline radial engine. UMS is a company located in India. Anyway, they've been around a long time, and I decided to get this engine, and uh, I have an airplane already waiting for it, <clears throat> but it's going to take a long time to get it completely built, but that's all right. I have all winter, and so I'm just going to explain a few things. As you can see right there, that little item there is a servo and is connected to the throttle. Okay, I'm going to pause this. I paused it for a few minutes there so I could go get my transmitter and demonstrate how the throttle servo works. First off, I turned on my transmitter and I have it selected for this engine test stand. And now I'm going to turn on one of these switches that says the receiver. And that'll tell my receiver to come alive. And that's what runs the throttle servo. And I'll move the throttle lever and you can see it, see it moving there. And right there in front of it is my my own personal design for the choke. Right now the choke is is placed on and of course once it gets run and I flip this up, move it back, and now the choke is off. So that uh, turned out to be a pretty simple fix for my choke. <sighs> and of course there's my fuel tank. It's empty now because the next time I run this I'm going to use a different mixture of fuel and oil. There is the ignition system. It's an electronic ignition module. Back here, well, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the ignition switch too. And then you'll see my tachometer light up. Since the engine is not running, the tachometer is just showing the voltage in the, the battery. These two batteries. One of them drives, one of them provides power for the ignition. The other one provides power for the receiver. Anyway, that's about it for how everything works. I'm having a little bit of trouble running this thing. And I'm suspecting it's the inferior carburetor that comes with it. I may have to shell out some more money and invest in a Walbro carburetor. And uh, that's an easy fix, but it's going to be expensive. We'll see. Anyway, that's it. I'll stop this, and then I'll upload it to my Google Photos or maybe YouTube.